You may have some questions about epidurals. Here are some we hear a lot. Does having an epidural mean having a needle stuck in my spine? An epidural is a needle that we do put in a patient's back, um, but it, uh, it goes between the bones of the back and it's actually far below where the spinal cord ends. Now all epidurals that are placed here at St. Joe's are placed by doctors who are either anesthesiologists or anesthesia residents. Will an epidural make my labor last longer? Many studies have been done around the world that have shown on average an epidural will make your second stage of labor, that is the time when you're pushing, about 30 minutes longer. Most women find that if they're comfortable, that extra 30 minutes doesn't seem like a long time. Will an epidural affect my baby? An epidural involves giving medication and targeting it to exactly the area where the pain is coming from. We are able to use such small doses of pain medication that though some of that pain medication will cross the placenta and go to your baby, it will be a far, far smaller amount than the amount of pain medication your baby would get through an intravenous. Will an epidural prevent me from bonding with my baby? As far as we know, there's never been any scientific study that has been done that has ever shown that having an epidural and being comfortable when you give birth will prevent you from bonding with your baby. Will an epidural interfere with successful breastfeeding? One of the things that research has shown is that an epidural may have a small effect on breastfeeding. The best literature that we have at this point seems to suggest that if you have an epidural during labor, there may be a slightly lower rate of successful breastfeeding. It's a question that requires further research. I don't think we have enough evidence to say that women should avoid having an epidural because they're worried about their ability to breastfeed. What side effects are associated with epidurals? Sometimes women can get some itching and that's just related to the medication that's in the epidural. Sometimes uh, there's a small chance of a headache, probably a 1-2% to chance of a headache after an epidural and that can last several days afterwards but is usually treated quite effectively with oral pain medication. Some of the more rare and serious side effects of an epidural are uh, an infection at the site where the epidural was put in, significant bleeding around where the epidural has been put in, as well as nerve injury. What about paralysis? Can't you be paralyzed by an epidural? The short answer to that is yes. However, the risk of permanent nerve injury after an epidural is probably less than one in a million. So it has happened somewhere in the world, but it's extremely rare. Will having an epidural cause me to experience chronic back pain after birth? We have lots of evidence from both from Canada as well as from the United Kingdom where large groups of women who gave birth with an epidural were followed for months after their delivery. It turns out that women who have had an epidural have a no greater risk or rate of back pain after delivery than women who have no epidural. Still have questions about pain relief options during labour? Don't forget to watch our other video, Labor Support, to explore non-medicinal pain relief options.